What's up, you guys? It's James here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're doing the room and setup tour November 2023. I'm filming on an iPhone 7. My iPhone 10 is broken, so I mean, the iPhone 7 is 128 gigabytes, so we're good. It used to run iOS 13, and I accidentally updated it. Yeah, but anyway, let's get started with the video. All right, so as soon as we walk in, you know, this is the room. We got the desk over here, the setup. Uh, my Windows laptop doesn't work right now. It needs a reinstall of Windows. I need to fix that. Oh, we got an iPhone 5 here. It's got a cracked screen. It doesn't have a very good battery in it, but it's got my old OtterBox case on it. I am going to be getting an SE first gen to put in that case. Got some, like, extra AirPods over here. Uh, the really beat up one's a first gen that doesn't hold a charge i don't know why i still have it this one's a brand new second gen that still works it's just a backup from one of my other pairs back when i was known as the james dtv studios when i hit 300 got some uh car keys here you know these don't go to a car that i have but you know these went to my mom's old car oh one of the emblems fell off the freaking key oh there it is it's right here because uh, it didn't have emblems on the keys anymore, so I made some for it. Yeah. Went to a 1998 town car. You know, I carry, I usually carry these all the time. I got my, uh, my bedroom padlock key, which I don't really lock my bedroom anymore. We got my library card, my Pickle Rick um, lanyard, bottle opener, some old keys, SIM card removal tool. And then we just got th these ones right here, which is just a copy of that key that I made. Because I, when I do get myself, like, you know, a car, I kind of want to get see if I can get the key mapped to it. We got the... We got this, like, what's left of a GM key fob that I found, and I just made a replacement case for it. Some old keys that don't go to anything, and then, of course, the clip. We've got the, um, the basketball hoop. Uh, my hats just hang on the back. I lost one of my other hats, the black one that says hustle on it. Back here is my light switch. Because right, we got the light fixture. We got a Terra Moo on the bed. That's Terra. Terra, come here. Yes, you're so soft. And she lets me do this. She lets me rub the belly. She used to not let me do that. She always get mad at me. And this is my bed. I'd usually just like, this is where I sit most, this is where I am at most of the day. Just watching tv on my roku tv which we've got my we've also got my playstation 4 my playstation 3 there the xbox 360 is behind the tv i got my ps3 controls this is a knockoff one right here this is actually a knockoff and i put the i fixed it sticker from when i got my i fix it keyboard for my macbook on here because this thing had stick drift and i actually repaired it on a knockoff controller that i put real buttons on you guys are probably wondering why would why I would you just go and fix a knockoff controller because um i don't have any other controls i do have that gold one but that's a, that's and that's a real one but it's got stick drift i had a black one i gotta find it but yeah this uh has no longer has stick drift i barely even play my ps3 i almost had a heart attack because uh i tried turning it on and it just would like to stay on for a little bit and then randomly just shut off but it wouldn't boot all i did was unplug it take out the hard drive um put the hard drive back in and then turn it on and it worked well, I mean, like, the console was unplugged for a while, and yeah, my PS4, it has the controller cable sticking out, because I have that to plug in my controller. I got my DualShock 4. I do want to get the red camo one. I'm thinking about buying the shell, because this is my best controller that I have for my PS4. I'll put the red camo shell on here. The reason why I say best controller is because my camo one, my green one, um, I did a button swap with a knockoff, and these are PS3 buttons from a PS3 controller. I'm just going to, once I get the red camo shell for this one, I'm just going to put the black shell on here and all the buttons and this thing will look nice again. Because I, I will have, I'll just keep the black one as a backup. They both kind of have stick drift off and on. So I may as well get another, well, I, I do have to clean them out. They are kind of dirty. I got the PS3, I mean the PS4 used. I did clean them up. Because they these things were super dusty and everything. Now there's still some dirt in, inside the buttons on the PS4, which... The PS3 is getting a new shell because I broke. Well, actually, no, I didn't break it. My friend who had it before me, um, the when he gave it to me, the the disc thing didn't even slide out. I jerry rigged this thing together, but some of the plastic is broken on it. So I'm going to just rebuild the system. I'm going to put new thermal paste in both of them. 
The PS4 will probably get a, get its one terabyte hard drive replaced with an SSD. It does have the factory one terabyte drive in there. When I got this thing, I actually took my MacBook's old 500 gig hard drive, which is the same spec as the one in the PS3, the 500 gig in the PS3. Put it in there. And I put my one terabyte drive in the MacBook. Don't know why I did that. Probably because my 240 gig SSD wasn't enough at the time. And now I run Mac OS Sonoma on that thing with Mountain Lion on a 60 gig partition. Yeah. Um. Yeah, PlayStation is the way to go. I have Fortnite on it, but I don't really play it. I actually have a couple games down here in this uh, cabinet. But uh, it's kind of blocked off by my winter boots. But yeah, I got some games down there. I got like three PS4 games on disc. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and 4, and then, um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, oh no, Infinite Warfare, and then I have Rocket League, the digital version, and, um, Fortnite. I have the demo version of Minecraft, but that's on my older account, because I have my, both accounts signed in on my PS4, and then we got the Dish Remote, you know, because I use this on the TV, you guys may remember I've used Dish Remotes on my TV for a while, my iHome IP87 with my iPhone 4. You can turn this thing on. Yeah, this thing works great. I actually really like this one. Because I used to have one of these when I was like 11 and 12. I got it at a yard sale when I was 11 for like 2 bucks. And it, the only difference was this one. Unlike this one, my, my old one was black. When I was like 12 and I lived in Illinois at the time, I accidentally plugged the wrong power cord into it and blew my speakers. Because I remember playing the radio for a while, it was working, and then smoke came out of the speakers, and then it just made a pop. I unplugged it immediately, took the batteries out, set it on the back porch. I think a week or two later, I took a really long extension cord, because I lived on a cul-de-sac at the time. Went all the way out in the middle of the cul-de-sac and plugged that suck. Well, like, I had I had the power cord extended all the way as far as I could away from it, and I was over by the extension cord, and I plugged it in. I was like, okay. It was like kind of like trying to defuse a bomb. But it turned on, the little like beeping speaker, the little buzzer inside still worked for the alarm because that's separated from the actual thing. Even though I used my iPhone to do that, I never actually have the alarm system. But yeah, this thing works great. We got a house phone here. It doesn't do anything. It's just there for looks. Uh, that's just a pill bottle that I use. I store, usually store screws in there. Uh, this is my, yeah, the dish remote. I can put the dish remote in here too. Yeah, and then that's Tara's box right there, litter box, food and water, mouse, my garbage that I need to take out. But yeah, now the gaming setup, I don't really even have anything hooked up. I haven't even used that monitor yet. I have a power cord, but I don't have a VGA, a VGA or a DVI cable. I need to get either a DVI to mini display port or a VGA to mini display port cable so I can use the MacBook with this. Yeah, that or I'll get one of those cables that has VGA or DVI to uh, mini display port and then get a mini display port to HDMI adapter or the other way around. It could be HDMI cable and then HDMI to mini display port. I don't know yet. I might actually try to talk with the school's tech department and I could see it. I'll see if they'll even let me have an old cable. I'll just be like, hey, I have like my own monitor at home and I know that a lot of these computers at the school use DVI to eight, uh, mini display port. Do you guys have an extra cable? If they have an extra cable, that's good. Because then I can use the MacBook with this at least. Because I still have to fix the Windows PC. I've dropped my controller a few times, so I don't even know if this thing still works. It's got an Elite D-pad on it. This is that controller I got for Christmas last year. If you guys saw the Christmas special, I showed the other one that was unmodified. Yeah, this, this one's been modified. I kind of somewhat got the vibration to work on it again. My broken iPod with the fake screen. My gaming keyboard I've had for two years now. Same with the mouse. Got that mouse pad last year. My headset I got last year. My headphones that came with my laptop. I got a CD player. Yeah, in here, this is like the parts and stuff. I actually have my iPhone XR in here. Um, underneath a lot of this. Yeah, this is the, I broke the back. But the battery's acting weird, so it won't show the percentage. It'll show the percentage for a while when you first turn it on. And then it stops showing it and it starts restarting randomly. I did break the back, but I was starting to remove the glass because I'm putting a new panel on it. Except now I don't have volume buttons. Uh, I drop When I dropped it, the volume buttons don't work. And I have like Androids in here. I have a Galaxy AO3S that needs to be fixed. A10e that works just fine. I originally wasn't going to be using my iPhone 7 as a backup because it didn't work. It didn't have a screen. I have a white screen on it even though the phone's black. 
Now, this is my 5C that I was actually going to be using. It's got... What the hell? Oh, that was probably from when I made breakfast yesterday and I accidentally splattered some eggs on it. I need to actually be very careful. I jailbroke the 5C. I just have, like, stuff on it, so I'm going to try to, you know, not show anything. There we go. Yeah, it's jailbroken. It works pretty well, too. The only thing is it doesn't have, um... It's on iOS 10, and also this phone doesn't have voice over LTE. Apparently, there's a jailbreak tweak that allows you to do that, but I can't find it. So, yeah. We do have the new iOS 14 and up uh, calendar icon, the iOS 15 and up icons. <coughs> Haptic touch, because it's basically the same as 3D touch, just no hardware. Uh, then we've got um, my Motorola Moto G stylus. This was going to be my backup. Let me just make sure that uh, it doesn't open anything. Yeah, this thing has an iOS launcher on it, but it still uses the stock um, Motorola lock screen. I dropped it the day I started using it, and I cracked it. I had this phone for a while. It was FRP locked, and then I unlocked it. It's got a 48 megapixel camera that looks like crap. So... Yeah, that's why I'm using the iPhone 7. I'm, I'm kind of sad that it updated. I do have another iPhone 7 that the screen I'm using came off of, but that phone's iCloud Bypass, so that's why I didn't use it as a as a daily for a backup. Some of you guys are probably like, wait, don't you have an iPhone 8? I do, but I don't have a screen. I have two iPhone 8s. My old one, which only really works with iFixit batteries, but now it's not really wanting to. It does the same 0% crap. Sorry, I'm getting sick. Um, but the 0% thing is why I ended up getting a new phone last year. For my, I replaced my iPhone 8 last year. Then I started using it again earlier this year. Because my SE broke. Then I switched to the 10R back in like August. And now I'm on an iPhone 7 again. iOS 15 is not bad because I jailbroke it with Pale Rain. So I actually have a couple new features. I have the iOS 16 lock screen. But the part that sucks is I can't use my Apple Watch. I can't use it right now. There is a jailbreak tweak, but I don't have the money to join the Patreon to use it. So, yeah, that, you know. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. She asked what I really do, girl, I'll tell y'all about it. Test I slide until you so, don't you ride exotic. Only look for blue.